know I said I would never do DMT again because I had a, such an intense experience after smoking DMT like six times that I was like, I don't need to do that ever again. Being ripped out of your body and laying on cosmic operation tables, having kaleidoscopic alien reptiles pulling energy out of your body. And it's just, uh, it's an intense experience to go through. I was always like, man, that's intense. I don't want to be screaming, flailing around, crying. But something about this day, just it just felt right. In a way, it felt like my own funeral. Even the way it looked, there was people I cared about that were around me. Everyone was beaming love at me. There was fear, but there was acceptance of the fact that I was about to go somewhere that I've never been. So you hit it. It's being vaporized. And you smoke it. And you hold it in. Take a couple deep breaths so you really get it in there. Hold it in as long as you can. And as you're holding it in, you kind of look around with your eyes open. Everything is like... And then you're just all of a sudden you're here. And during that wah, 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 that kind of state, you're, you're seeing the world shake. But you know like when you're underwater and it's kind of like, it's kind of going big and small and it gets close and like it stretches. It's like that. It's like being underwater and looking up at the world and seeing it kind of stretch away. And then all of a sudden you break through and you're just in this space and there's no question, there's no question that this is just how it is. Like I'm here right now in life and I have no other questions about my place here. This is life. This is how it is. I wake up here every day. This spacious whiteness had this qualityness to it of me just being like, oh, here I am. Here I am. This is just what it is. This is just, it was just a single pointedness of awareness that was also simultaneously overflowing with forgiveness and acceptance and love. I was just came back just smiling and laughing, having understood everything about what it means to be alive. And I couldn't even understand what I understood. It was such an intuitive understanding that it was nothing intellectual about it. It was just, I get it. I finally get it. I finally get it. I finally get it. That's what I just kept saying to myself in my head until I was just on my knees crying. So I finally get it. And the more I tried to understand what it is I understood, the further away I got from grabbing it. It's so beyond the intellect and so beyond logic. It's just a knowing. And I guess maybe that's what faith is. I've always kind of looked at faith as being like, why is faith good? Why is having blind faith in something without evidence good? I guess it's not blind faith because the evidence is here. And I've seen the evidence work on people of all different cultures and belief systems and backgrounds. The, the toad works. And my friend, Pete, who had a life-changing experience with it also, and I got to watch his experience and his life change because of it, he was there with me. And he was hovering above me, kind of like looking down at me as I was coming back. And I opened my eyes and everything is still blurry and, and you're just not really back to your body yet. Like you feel heavy and just like you died and came back to life almost. It was a death. This is a death. This is a near-death experience. Not physically, but this is a spiritually near-death experience. You feel like you're dying. You have to accept the fact that you are dying, and then you die. And then you understand that this is where you come from. This is the place where you're always at. It's where you are, but you and me, we all live in this temporary illusion, this condensation of the imagination we're just kind of we're just daydreaming but there's a place an eternal place inside of us 
where all things come, everything, everything in existence comes from this eternal place. You know, like scientists call it the Big Bang and some people call it God, Krishna. You call it whatever you want to call it. The white light, the eternity. But it's like, it's the starting point, the source. Everything comes out of this place. And that's just where we always are. And that's what, this is like, I've, I've, I've known this because this is in the Vedas. But you can experience it. It's not just an intellectual thing when you're reading it in a book. It is when you're reading it in a book. But I was worried about Sapo being like DMT. Because the thing is, is, DMT can take you to that white light, pure bliss place also. But you got to go through the layers. You have to go through the layers to get there. You got to go through alien worlds and and planes of existence that you didn't even know were possible before you can reach this space it's like uh it's like fighting off all the demons before you can you know take your next birth or something it's like making your way through the darkness of the bardos the thing is with sapo with the 5meo dmt is not visionary like that it's just uh and then you're there you know some people do have visions and they see all kinds of angels and but for me, it was just, it's just I popped through and I was just there. I was there in the, in the Buddha land, in the soul land. I remember just crying and saying, I pray, I pray that people can even just get a glimpse of this experience before they die. Because it's, it's, everything is okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, I don't feel that now. Of course, I'm like, I'm, I'm back to normal. But now I have this little, this little crack in that fear of where I can go back and I can say, yeah, but there's a place within myself that is fearless, that is compassionate and forgives and doesn't suffer. And I would rather identify than that than with the parts of myself that make me feel weak and, and scared. Because I don't have to be. In the face of eternity, we are safe. We are safe. You're going to die. We're all going to die. But we are safe because life is safe. This is just what happens. This is the way nature works. We want to remain alive. That's the nature of having a body. The body doesn't want to die, but we're not the body. And that's what like the 5-MEO shows you. It's just like, it just is, it's, I feel like it's just, it takes you to like the embrace of Christ into the compassionate heart of the Buddha, into the chest of Hanuman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the toad.